Hello everyone, welcome to Math 140 College Algebra. My name is Amit and I will be your instructor for this course. Uh, and I'm so excited to, to support you through this course, um, to get to know all of you a little bit better, to um, you know be a resource for you and to help you succeed, which is my ultimate goal. So this welcome video will um, you know, talk a little bit about the course and also a little bit about the online learning environment. So first, um, let's talk about how an online course is different from a face-to-face -face course. Uh, there are a couple of differences. Uh, well, m there are many differences, but I'm going to talk about a couple. In a face-to-face -face class, we have set meeting times. You know, you often meet on a Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, from you know, a certain time to a certain time. And um, in a face-to-face -face class, physical attendance is often required, as I do in my face-to-face -face classes. In an online class, students can set their own schedule and their own pace. Now, every week you'll have certain tasks to complete, certain assignments to complete, but you get to decide when you're going to complete them. Attendance is taken, but attendance is taken through participation, which can mean many things. It could be writing in a discussion board, it can be responding to your peers, uh, it could be completing an online assignment. Um, participation can mean many, many things. But attend attendance is taken. Let me talk about some traits of a, a successful online student. There are many, many traits, but I'm going to talk about just four. Um, first and foremost, successful online learners must be motivated, disciplined, self-directed, and good at time management. You will be given certain tasks, but you get to decide when you will complete those tasks. And often, you know, if you leave things till the last minute, it may become overwhelming and your learning might be affected. So time management is going to be key, as will be discipline. Number two, diverse communication skills are paramount in online learning. Um, much of uh, your communication will be uh, in a written form through discussion boards, responding to peers, communicating with your instructor, communicating with your peers on, on different questions you guys may have. So, um, you know, even though this is a math class, writing will become an, an essential skill. Number three, um, we will all be participating in class through discussion boards and written interaction with peers and the instructor. You will be posting, you will be responding, as will I. Fourthly, um, a successful online learner will take responsibility for the learning process. Um, in a live, in a face-to-face -face class, there's live lecture. Often, um, you know, the instructor uh, will often provide you with live lecture. Uh, however, um, much of the learning in an online class will be done by watching video lessons and by taking notes and by asking um, your instructor, asking your peers. Uh, on concepts that you may be having difficulty with. And I'm also going to provide, provide you with additional resources which you can util, utilize to, uh, to help your learning. Logging in uh, to our course, um, we will have our course is through Canvas. And here's the link, rsccd.instructor.com. Uh, I sent uh, a very detailed email to you uh, with login information on where the syllabus can be found, what to do um, in the first week. So please make sure you read the email. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Make sure you go over the syllabus, the course information, and start module one. Now, all of us are going to need help throughout this course. So where do you seek help? Um, number one, the discussion board where you can post general questions and um, your, your peers, yourself, you will be monitoring discussion boards to, to help, help each other and, and I will be monitoring discussion boards as well, though much of the participation will be peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, the Santa Ana College Math Center has free tutoring available, so please utilize that. Uh, details are provided in the syllabus. Uh, the Learning Center um, also is a great resource. You can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring um, if you make an appointment ahead of time. Again, details are provided in the syllabus. And of course, you can email your instructor to seek help as well. 
So I hope this welcome video was helpful and um, I look forward to, uh, to working with you.